Music Nation Podcast Festival Edition. Today we are with Dave Knapp. He is from the Lafayette Apple Festival. Dave, thanks for joining us. Absolutely. Nice to be here. Dave, give us a little background on you. Where'd you grow up and talk a little bit about your uh, your life? Absolutely. So, uh, yep, I, I grew up in a, in a little town, about 5,000 people, Lafayette, New York, which is uh, upstate New York, just uh, about 20 minutes south of uh, Syracuse, New York, uh, pretty much right in the center of the state. Uh, grew up on a, on a family farm, been in our family since uh, 1804. And, um, uh, you know, so that was that was kind of the upbringing and uh, wouldn't wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. Um, you know, great way to uh, always something going on the farm. No idle minds to get in too much trouble. And, uh, you know, lots of good life lessons and, and all that. Um, you know, the family was uh, very uh, involved in the community. And um, so uh, that's kind of where the, the whole Apple Festival grew out of. I grew up on a dairy farm, but mm. um, we have a lot, a lot of apple orchards uh, in town. And so that's how we kind of got the apple thing going. Um, and um, my parents were on the original committee that created it back in 1973. So we're actually celebrating our 50th uh, year this year. Uh, oh, so perfect. Lots, lots of lots of excitement. So, um, yeah, uh, like I said, uh, I, I grew up with it. Every Columbus Day weekend was uh, it was, was when we have the festival. And uh, so, you know, it's early October in upstate New York. The leaves are changing. It's, it's a beautiful time of year. The weather... You know, it can be a little iffy every now and then, but typically we're, we, we get pretty lucky on the weather. And, um, um, it, uh, uh, we have a, we have a real nice get together. Um, the festival, uh, you know, it's set around apples, but it's, it's a lot more than that, as you might, um, imagine. Um, it was set up as a, as a way to help some of our local organizations, uh, not, not for profit specifically raise money. Um, so the rest of the year they can do great things for the community. So uh, we only allow local not-for-profits to sell food down at the festival. Uh, we also, it's a family event. That's the main thing. We try and keep things reasonable. Um, admission is uh, $5. Uh, kids under 12 are free, free parking, all that. Um, but uh, we, there's kind of three components of it. Uh, like I said, the apple part is, uh, you know, kind of the theme, but then we have over 400 uh, crafters from all over the country actually um, come come in. Everything has to be homemade, and um, uh, so that's a big draw. And then the third the third piece of the or third leg of the stool, whatever you want to call it, is is uh, live music. And so we keep everything uh, again very family 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 oriented. Um, we do have some rides off to the side for the kids and some activities for them, but. But it's really a you know a family event to get get folks out. Uh, one of the last weekends as we're going into the fall before things uh, the weather really starts to change and things get a little tougher. You know, driving people indoors. So, yes, yes, perfect. Yep. All right, let's talk. Let's talk food real quick. Yep, our listeners are always interested in food. Dave, Dave, what's some of your what's some of your favorite foods? There the well, uh, down at the festival, oh boy, we've got some got some good stuff. But uh, one of our local organizations, the local Optimist Club, uh, puts together a, a steak uh, steak sandwich, a Philly steak type sandwich that's just really really yummy. Um, one of the most popular and well known things down there is one of the local churches does uh, apple fritters. And it's a it's a deep fried, uh, you know, and oh boy, there I, I have one one young man who <laughs> actually came up from New York City, um, <clears throat> never been to a festival like this or anything like that, and uh, he he described them as life altering, um, mm. the, the apple fritters. So, uh, you know, so those are really good. It's one of those things where you can splurge one time a year on them. Yeah, you, know, you you wouldn't want to live on them, or you probably won't be around very long. Yes, but uh, but really really yummy. Type, type stuff but you know we have a you know we 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 have 18 different food vendors we try and make it so nobody's competing against each other so everybody has to do something a little bit different and uh, so there's a little something for everybody obviously everything you can imagine apple wise from 
like I mentioned, the fritters to pies to to dumplings to you know everything, uh, apple pancakes, everything you can think of. Perfect. All right, Dave. How long have you been involved with this festival? Well, literally uh, since since day one. Um, when they, uh, I don't look that old, but uh, I actually was around in 1973 when it started. Um, you know, and at, at that time I was 10 years old and just doing, uh, you know, running around helping however I could. And then, you know, as I, as I grew up, grew up, you know, I, I actually went away serving the military for, for, for a time then came back. And, uh, as my parents were getting a little older and starting to step back a little bit, I stepped in, uh, <clears throat> to the point where now I'm the director of it and we have a board of directors that, you know, it's a 501 C4 nonprofit. And uh, we have our own property where we have the festival. About it's a two hundred acre two hundred acre farm, and um, so it allows us to, um, you know, do a lot a lot of other things during the year um, besides just have the festival uh, on the grounds down there for the community. We've got some sports fields down there that we built for the little Pop Warner football teams and stuff, and uh, so we really try to be a big part of the community. Um, and uh, since uh, every Columbus Day weekend, uh, the town kind of puts everything on hold for this because between traffic and everybody else is down there volunteering in one way, shape, or form. So it's uh, it's a great thing. Dave, for you, where does the reward come in this for you? Uh, you know, a couple of ways. Um, you know, I mentioned, uh, you know, helping the local not-for-profits. Um, is is big for me, which is really good to help the community. But the, uh, probably the biggest thing is I love seeing um, families down there volunteering together, parents and kids, um, you know, for there'll be a couple hours at one group. And then, you know, they'll, they'll with, with one of the churches maybe or something. And then you'll see them a couple hours later helping, uh, you know, the, one of the booster clubs or the fire department or, or something like that. And it just, you know, it really helps with that sense of community, that sense of family, um, and all that. So that that's probably the biggest reward for me is 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 really seeing, um, you know, it bringing the community together and and like I said, families working together. Uh, a lot of that, you know, getting the kids off their phones and uh, you know and working and uh, you know giving back to the community. Lots of good life lessons there, and um, you know that's what that's what really drives me with it. Yeah, we certainly, nobody's getting rich on this thing. But yeah, no, we, no, for sure. Here, Absolutely. You know, cool. Dave, Dave I, I'm in live music and live live entertainment. So I always ask these yep. questions. It gives our listeners a little insight into your brain, your community, your area. What is the best concert you've ever seen in your entire life? Well, you know, um, boy, there's, there's, been a, there's been a few. Um, I actually serve on the county legislature up here in our Onondaga County, which is the county around here. And several years ago, we actually built an amphitheater right right on uh, uh, one of our lakes here. It's right near the city of Syracuse. And so we've we've had some some pretty good good acts come in for that. A lot of a uh, lot lot of uh, country stuff. I mean, one of my favorite ones back when I was in college was uh, seeing Foreigner uh, mm. came up and uh, did a great concert up here in uh, what was a brand new, the Carrier Dome up here where Syracuse University plays a lot of their sports yep. um, and stuff. And that was that was one of those, one of my first concerts growing up. And that's one that I always always go back to with the original, you know, for, for, Foreigner. Um, so that, I'd probably put that one as my favorite. Yeah, I, I went to, uh, I went to West Point uh, to college for education and, they had a pretty good concert series too there. And uh, I remember seeing James Taylor uh, came up and uh, again, this would have been in the early eighties and gave a great concert. Um, and I, that, that, that'd probably be a very close number two. Enjoyed both of them. If you could bring one musical act dead or alive, Dave, to the Apple festival for your community, who would you bring? Boy, <laughs> that's a, you know, I, I've, I've been thinking about that. Um, you know, boy, I, I'm thinking of my. I'm thinking selfishly of myself, and then I'm thinking of the community. You know, like a lot of the older folks would love, like uh, early on Elvis. You know, down there, or uh, or something like that. Um, but uh, boy, 
um, you know, uh, we, we we actually have Shania Twain coming up this summer. That would be a great one um, to have. The, she's not down at the Apple Festival venue. She's at the bigger venue, obviously. But, but she uh, could, yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. But, I mean, it's, it's that one's gonna be a, I'm really, really looking forward to that one. That one's going to be a lot of fun. So, uh, you know, yeah. yeah you know, I kind of go back and forth. But, uh, yeah, she, she'd probably be a good one. Yeah, I'll, 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 throw, I'll throw it to her. There you go. Very good. Perfect. Dave, how do people find out more about the Lafayette Apple Festival? Um, yeah, we're, we're obviously on Facebook, and we have a website, lafayetteapplefest.org. Perfect. Dave, thanks for joining us today, man. I appreciate you greatly. Really appreciate it. Take I love care. your passion, man. Keep it up. Thanks. Absolutely. You All too. Right. Bye. Take care. Well, baby, I'm all with a ball.